Hey everyone and welcome to this video. I'm Inkslaura123. This is going to be a spend the day with me vlog so hope you enjoy watching. If you do please click like, comment, share and please subscribe to my channel that would be awesome. Also don't forget to smash the notification bell to all notifications then you can see when I've uploaded new videos and also when I'm doing live streams. So it's Wednesday morning the time has just gone nine o'clock and I'm just going to go into Iceland so uh yeah let's go brought my little trolley with me today <laughs> well it's actually uh, nathan's trolley um, that we use when we go away but i've been using it recently to kind of carry my shopping oh pigeons Ooh. oh look oh look oh that is actually quite funny <laughs> it says dogs welcome outside the shop and the pigeons have gone there to have a little drink you enjoying that that is quite funny. Anyway, I'll let them let them have their drink. <laughs> but yeah, I bought the trolley with because, you know, I'm gonna go to a few different places today and it just like saves me carrying it. I just wheel it along like so. And uh, yeah, I should really get it's one of those shopper trolleys, but the ones that I have seen look quite heavy. Whereas this is, look, it's quite lightweight. So, and even when I've got a lot of stuff in it and I'm wheeling it along, it's still quite lightweight. Um, anyway, so let's go to Iceland. Actually, now I'm confused. How do I, how do I do this and this? A basket and a trolley thing. Um, okay, I'm gonna try it. Loop it over my arm, I suppose. <laughs> oh, I didn't think of this part. Oh, look at that, that looks so stupid. Oh my. Um, I don't need loads in here because we are doing an Iceland order uh, tonight. But I just wanted to come and get a couple of bits um because i want to have these for breakfast oh put that there no don't fall don't fall no. um so yeah nathan's not doing the order till tonight um or tomorrow so i thought no i'm gonna come and get them while i'm in town um see so i don't want the ones that look burnt like underneath they look quite dark i like getting the ones that are a bit lighter underneath i'm very fussy hold on oh that's better there we go Now, I got their cherries the other day, um, and they were horrible, <laughs> so I'm not getting those. Um, blueberries. Are they nice? I can't remember if I've read, ever had a blueberry or not. Well, I mean, hmm, what do you reckon? Should I give them a go? It's supposed to be very good. Oh, no, look at this, trying to... Ah, okay. Um, right, we do need a clover light, butter. I still haven't tried that. I've got the Lewis Capaldi cheese pizza, but we haven't tried it yet. I love Lewis Capaldi. Um, right, butter over here. Oh, wow. I used to have them when I was a kid. The original Alpha Bites. <laughs> oh, awesome. I used to make rude words with those as a kid, and I was a rebel. Um, right, I'm going to get a clover light. Oh, a saving a 50p. Bargain. Seeing what vegetarian stuff. Well, oh, I haven't had that for ages. My corn mints. I have got some. Just need to actually cook it. Just those. I have to say, Iceland do a very big range of like vegetarian and vegan stuff, which is cool. Um. Okay. Hopefully there's not a big queue. Normally when I come in Iceland there's always a big queue, but I've come quite early so hopefully there won't be. Right, I think only one till is opened, which is this one. <sighs> okay. I am just in Primark because they have started doing all the Pride theme clothing, which I love. Of course I am part of the LGBTQI plus community um being a bisexual lady and i've already got a t-shirt pretty similar to this but i do really like it i like the kind of style and the coloring obviously but my one's really really similar so it's not really any point in getting you know oh i like it in blue got the proud there and proud at the back i wish the bigger proud would have been at the front but mm. oh they've got caps pretty cool I like that cap 
Uh, what else have we got? We've got black t-shirt. We've got so oh I like the socks. Socks are really cool. <laughs> but a bit thick. A bit thick socks. I'm after some like thinner trainer socks at the moment. Because you know it's gonna be hot weather and my feet are gonna get all hot and sweaty. Oh now this is what I like. This is what I'm about. I saw this in the window. How much is this? Oh, it's only eight quid. That's quite good. I might try this on. This is really cool. Look at that. All the different types of people. All the different flags. Oh, I love this so much. I have to try this on. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I wouldn't want it in 2x. It would be too big. But yeah, we'll try that one on in the... Oh, we'll try that one on in the fitting room. I like that one a lot. Yeah, it's in the um, window outside. Okay. Anything else around here? Uh, oh, the little badges. Cute badges. I wonder if they're selling them. I assume they are. Um, right, okay, just going round. round. Oh, they've got it in a bag as well. How cool is that? Oh, I actually love that. How much is that bag? Two quid, is that all? I am a sucker for a tote bag, but look, it matches with the t shirt. Oh, I absolutely love that so much. That is so cool. Oh, love it. And I could uh, take it with me. When I go to South in Pride, uh, I loved it last year. Honestly, I had such a good time. Um, even though I don't like crowds, as an anxious person, I think I've done pretty damn well. Um, but yeah, I can have like my drinks and stuff in my bag. So yeah, I'm going to grab those two. Uh, oh, I like it in pink. Is that the front of the t-shirt or the back? No. Why are they putting like the bigger at the back and the smaller bit at the front. I prefer it the other way round. Oh well. Right, okay. I should have got a basket, but I can't, it's really got much way. Oh my. Right, oh, here's the little badges. We've got a little necklace. So you've got, what's this one? Family. All the different flags there. Proud. Oh, they're really cool. Got a little necklace for Proud. <coughs> Oh, these are really nice actually I, honestly I'm so happy Primark do a lot of all the pride stuff like I think it's really cool and you've got the same in a sweatshirt as well which is great but it's going to be hot soon so I'm better off just getting a t-shirt um trying to think where I could put the badges I haven't really got anywhere to put the badges I used to put them on my bag but the bag that I've got now I can't really put badges on it so that's sad because they're really cool uh what we've got around here I've got a hat don't like those style of hats they look stupid on me uh some very bright colored <laughs> animal print shorts i think that's gonna work um see the hat looks all right in the mannequin on me it just looks stupid do you want to say come on let's have a look hold on let's put this on my head <laughs> things i do as a youtuber right hold on let me get it the right way round <laughs> hi everyone i'm really cool no oh. yeah it's not good look oh no i'm dropping everything now ah trying to try and tidy my hair up but it's not really working right I'm gonna go and get these but I will have a little look round at other bits and pieces all the nice pretty little dresses and stuff <sighs> I do like a dress but I don't know it's my legs I'm always paranoid about um you know I've got chubby little legs chubby little legs and there's nothing wrong with having oh they're the um play suit things there's nothing wrong with having chubby little legs can I just say that but <laughs> the main reason it's not even the look well a little bit i suppose i'm paranoid body positivity i know but i am a bit paranoid um about my bits and pieces but the main thing is when i wear dresses my my thighs rub together like chub rub they call it chub rub um and it just really irritates me i mean last time last summer when i was wearing dresses i did have this idea is to put um cycling shorts under so you can't see as long as the dress obviously you know it's like knee length um, and then it, it did help with the, the rub but um, see I love all these little play suits but I just think they look awful on me I just look stupid I kind of need to work on self love <laughs> I put myself down way too much right, what's over here straw hat over there Nathan used to wear a straw hat and I got with him he doesn't, uh, doesn't wear it anymore I think it sits on one of our teddy bears Bit of polka dot there. Oh, I like that. That's nice. I like this stretchy bit around the top. Uh, there's me. I'm not getting to get a dress. 
No, I do like dresses, as I say, but only if I can wear my cycling shorts under them and I can just gain a bit of confidence about my legs. Um, I do like this, though. This is nice. Let's try this one on as well. Going to be coming in the fitting room with me. Hope you don't mind. Oh, that's a cute little bag. Right, OK. Doop, 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 doop. Oh, <laughs> my trolley just got stuck in all the dresses. Oh, my. Um... I don't know if I really like that or I don't. No, I don't. Okay. Sorry if you've got that dress and I've just slated it. Um, got all the Yao stuff. I've got that t-shirt. I literally only got it. I haven't been to Yao, but I literally got it because it's got Hebrew on it. And I'm Jewish, so, you know. I really love this Doctor Strange t-shirt, but I'm just not really into Doctor Strange. So, yeah. But I love the colouring of it. Oh, they've got more anime themed. Oh. I've got loads of new t-shirts. Okay, let's have a look. Right. Who's this? Card Captor. Who's that? Sakuru? Sakura? That is a nice, nice t-shirt. I do really like that. See, <laughs> it's the weird thing, right? Uh, they've only got it up to a medium. I know, they've got a large. But is their large going to be large or just, you know, pretending to be large and really a small? Let's have a look. Because some of the large t-shirts I wear, they come up quite baggy, but I don't know, what do you think? They don't look too small, actually. Mm. I'm not sure. We'll try it on. We can only laugh at me if it's no good. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I'm not really into anime or manga. Nathan is. He loves all that. But I love the aesthetic of um, manga and anime, like the, the cute girls and like the big eyes. and the, I just love it, but I just don't watch it. I've tried to watch it. I just can't get into it. Ooh. Oh, I really like this. This is nice. They're nice. I do like a bit of old classic art. Oh, that is gorgeous. Love that. As I got it in. What's the thing with only having them in smalls? Look, small, small, extra small. And you get there and it's like a something completely different. So that's sad. I really like that. Oh my god, I would never wear Pink Floyd. Um I'm not gonna go into it now because I'm in the middle of Primark. Let's just say Roger Waters is a well. He's, I'm not even saying what he is, he's just vile. Um, just look him up, look up, um, what's his name? Roger Waters, anti Semitism. You'll see some disgusting images. Anyway, yep, no thank you. Uh, Nirvana, I do love a bit of Nirvana, but I've already got um, Nirvana t shirts and stuff. Uh, Rolling Stones, I don't mind Rolling Stones, but they're not really my thing. I like wearing bands t shirts who I do listen to, do you know? Um, Okay, anything else of interest? Any cutesy t-shirts? My mum has said to me, can I look if there's any t-shirts that she would like? Because they do do bigger sizes in here, but I can't see my mum wearing that. Uh, maybe she could have a little mermaid t-shirt. Actually, I like that little mermaid t-shirt. It's pretty cute. It's pretty cute. I want to see the new little mermaid. I don't know, it's a bit... Mm. Spit in your face. She's got, yeah, I don't know. All right, okay. What have we got over here? I think these are just like shorts and stuff. Yeah, I don't want shorts. Okay, now I feel bad about Little Mermaid. What's our crawl? It's just that she's got like a really big head. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Like on the t shirt, it's quite big. Oh, I feel bad now. So I do love Ariel. Hold on. So this is supposed to be XL, is it? All right. It doesn't look that baggy. <laughs> oh, hiccup, sorry. What do you think? Should I try it on? I don't know. All right, we'll try it on. Well, I don't think it's going to fit, to be fair. I think it's going to be quite tight. If they got it in a 2XL, just in case. No. All right, okay, come on. Let's get out of here. Um, I'm looking for... Oh, look at the Hello Kitty sweatshirt. Not that. I'm looking for, like, jogging bottoms, but, like, a thin material of jogging bottom, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah, I love that, but it's... Uh, why are they bringing out really cute, sweet sweatshirts now? Because it's going to be too hot. We're not wearing sweatshirts at the moment. Well, I'm not. Because I'd have had that. That is adorable. But it just seems pointless buying a sweatshirt now when it's just going to get hotter. Oh, they're bright colours, aren't they? Um, but I really love that. 
<laughs> no. I shouldn't have come in here today. I might have to try that on. I mean, you might have days where it's a bit colder, maybe. It looks huge. I don't know, maybe I should try an, a large. See what I mean about that? Oh, no, that's Bambi. That's not Hello Kitty. Um, oh, okay. So it's literally just this one. Uh, it's got little stains on it. A little... I've got OCD, so I do seed stains. Look, that little weird stain. No, I'm going to leave that. Come on, get away, Laura. These are cool. Love that. That is so bright. Whew. Find your inner smile. Good things are coming. Well, I hope so. I hope so. Um, yeah, I want these, like, jogging bottoms that are quite... I don't know what to call them. They're just, like, cottony, maybe? Like, loose, floaty trousers. I just can't find them anywhere. I know what I'm looking for, but I just I can't really word it. But I know when I see it, I'll see it, and I'll be like, that's the ones. But oh, I can't find them anywhere. I see all the girls wearing them, and I can't find them. Maybe they're not cotton. Maybe they're not jogging bottoms. Maybe they're more like a linen trouser. I don't know. Don't know. Oh, I certainly won't be having these. <laughs> PVC styly. I used to wear them back in the day as a goth, but not in that colour. I used to wear black PVC trousers. Yeah, I know. Um, they did look good at the time, so I thought maybe. Probably didn't look good, actually. I'm starting to get busy now because it's half term. It's going to be loads of people, hence I wanted to get here a little bit early. <sighs> okay, anything of interest? A bit round here that I like. Uh, I still love that top, but it's too long. I say that every single time I come in here. Oh, what are these? No, they're more like... Oh, no, they feel a bit weird. I like, them. I like the colour, though. Uh, oh, God. Oh my, I've gone back to the 90s. I like them shoes. Right, um, <laughs> one of the members of staff was just like, you know, putting stuff away and she couldn't see my phone, so it just looked like I was talking to myself. <laughs> she gave me a very strange look as if to go, oh, you're talking to yourself. Oh well. Um, okay, now, how much is this? That foundation. Now you're probably thinking, why do I want it in this colour? There is a, there is a reason. I don't really want to pay three quid. Ah, hold on. What's this one? Two quid. Yeah, that's cool. Now, it's for some my role play video I've got planned um, on like a doll head doing their makeup. I haven't done one of those for ages. Um, and one of the dolls that's going to be in the video um, is Person of Colour. And so I thought I can't really put like my, you know, kind of colour that I would use, like this very pale colour on her. Um, and then I needed like a dark colour. Um, and this is perfect, so I'm going to grab that as well. Oh, let's have a look around here. There's all the mannequins doing the thing, looking cool. Uh, anything of interest around here? I do like um, Primark's lipsticks, actually. I have to say, they're quite cool. Okay. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm just going backwards and forwards, sorry. I'll see if they've got any socks down here or if they're all upstairs. But, oh, here, socks, <laughs> right in front of me. I don't know if there's any socks here. And that's what I was after, trainer socks. So I want them in black, not white, because I usually wear them with my leggings. So I, I don't know why, but it really irritates when I see like a colour sticking out of my legging. I'd rather just black where it's got blends in. That's good, isn't it? Seven pairs for 2 50 trainer socks yes that is good deal let's have a little look at the bags I don't need any bags I've just bought another one that I didn't need but um it's all good it's for pride okay so there's like two serving so there's a bit of a queue forming but um won't be too long oh I'm such an idiot I started queuing up and then I was like I haven't tried any of these on bit right I'm heading into the fitting rooms now <laughs> okay Right, okay, into the fitting rooms. Right, so, oh, women that way and each end of that way. I'm gonna go in this one. Okay, you can see me now with my trolley. What a nerd that I look. <laughs> Hi. Oh my, hey, oh, this one's dark, do I want that one? Go in the bright one. 
in your cum trolley. Honestly, it might look a bit odd, but it is helpful. And as I say, those, those shopper trolleys that people use, they're just really heavy. They look quite high, but really heavy, whereas this is lightweight. Anyway, right, let's try these clothes on. My hair is such a mess. Putting that hat on probably didn't help either. Oh, God. Anyways, um, right, I've got Aerie on. Mm, not keen on it. I just, I, don't, I just, it feels a bit tight. Anyway, I mean, I have got my t-shirt underneath, so that's you know making it even more tight. But mm, you know, when you just think, nah, I don't know. It's just something. The print, the image is just a bit, a bit too big. Like I don't know. Anyway, so I don't like that one. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> this is horrible. Okay, I mean, to be fair, it's a smaller size, but even if it was bigger, like I still wouldn't like it. It's just. No, 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 no. Now, please let this t-shirt fix. It's really cool. Ooh, oh, no. It's way too tight. Once again, I have a t-shirt underneath, but even then, it's just... Oh, it's just... It's a bit too long as well. Like, it's coming right down there. I don't know. Oh, mm. well, that's sad, because I really love this. Um, what size was this? Where's the tag? Ow. Hold on. Yeah. What size was it? That's an XL. Or maybe... Did they have a bigger size? I'm not sure. Because I really love this. Oh, well. Meh. Now, I actually really like this dress, which you might think, oh, it looks weird. But I keep saying the same thing. I have got a T-shirt underneath, but I can kind of tell that it's going to be fine. It's just because this is, look, not me. This is the the T-shirt underneath buckling up. But um, I love the sleeves. And it's just, yeah, it's really, really nice. I want to try it on properly at home with like a nice pair of sandals and stuff but it is really nice i love this kind of gathered bit but um yeah it's, it is difficult to tell with a t-shirt on and you're probably like why don't you just take the t-shirt off because i just don't want to get all hot and sweaty and meh um so i'll try it at home and see what i think and have a good look in the mirror um as i say with sandals on and stuff but i like the length i like the polka dot i like this elasticated bit all round. i love the sleeves so um yeah, we'll try it at home, I'll keep the receipt, and if not, I'll just bring it back. But I think it might be right, actually. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go into Bernardo's and British Heart Foundation. See if I can get any goodies for me or to sell on eBay. If you don't know, I'm an eBay reseller, so I always look in charity shops and stuff. Um, oh, look at this window. I love their window displays. They do, I think, the best window displays. Uh, they always change them regularly. Oh, look at the old suitcase, the book. Oh, the little sewing machine there at the back. Thinking of your grandma. Uh, my grandma was a dressmaker and she had a little sewing machine. Oh, that looks so cool. What's the other window? What have they done with that one? Oh, lots of denim theme. This one isn't as exciting, but it's pretty cool. It's still like quite, you know, artistic. All the jeans and stuff, all the denim. Yeah, pretty cool. What's this? Glow in the dark bow tie. <laughs> They do get some random things in here, which is what I love. Uh, a poncho. Three. Actually, this is a this is a good idea. Um, I tell you why because adult one size fits all. When I dye my hair, which I only done recently, but I will be doing obviously in a few months' time again. Um, I <laughs> it's a bit random, but I wear a poncho to stop it staining my skin and my clothes. Uh, the hair dye. So that is a good bargain. Three for a quid. So, yeah, I'm going to get those. Okay, in we go. Some f uh, flake flowers. Flake, flake flowers? Fake, can't talk. Fake flowers. There we go. All right, let's have a little look what we can find. All right, you can sit there a second. I'm always looking um, for the sort of plus size clothing uh, for myself and to sell because plus size clothing does better. Uh, what's that? This is Evans. Oh, this is quite nice for eBay, not for me. Four quid is quite a good price, size 24. Yeah, that's nice. Just looking at the buttons. Yep, yeah, they're cool. Yeah, this is smart, actually. Right, there we go. We're off to a good start, literally. In like five seconds, I've already got stuff. Oh, I've dropped the hanger. Right, okay. It's a cool bell. Look, ring for a unicorn. Oh, it's not ringing. The unicorn doesn't want to come out. <laughs> this is where they do all the new books, which is cool. You get some really good books in here that are literally brand new.
I'm just in Poundland and uh, I'm going to get these two here because they're really cool. These like uh, what they're called novelty cup disco balls <laughs> uh, with the straw. So I'm going to get one for me and one for my friend because it's her birthday and I just think this is really fun for her. I can see her sitting in her garden with this. She's going to love it. Maybe. But I'm definitely going to love mine so it's all good. <laughs> I'm also after this pasta that I got in here the other day and it was gorgeous and I can't find them anywhere else. I like that cereal. Maybe it was at the front. It was cheese and tomato, like kids, <laughs> kids, uh, pasta, unicorn. No, oh, trust me, to find something I like to eat, and now I can't find them. I'm gonna have to ask someone. Okay, so I'm just walking around to another charity shop. I thought I'd show you this beautiful view. I love this view. So nice. Look at all them gorgeous trees. I mean, I love trees, but trees don't love me because my hay fever, but I can still love a tree. <laughs> okay, so my dad just called me. He's having a good old time. He's gone to Priory Park. Sorry, it's a bit windy. Uh, yeah, he's gone to Priory Park. And he's saying how beautiful it looks there. All the flowers come out. And just really relaxing there, he said. He's having a good time. So uh, he said he's going to take some photographs on his phone of the flowers. And then when I see him on Sunday, he's coming round, he can show me the photos. But he sounded really chilled and like super relaxed, which was nice to hear, actually. Um, yeah, it's Dad's birthday uh, on Sunday, so he's coming around with Jan. And uh, we're having a little, you know, family games and stuff. Oh, it's so windy but anyway so i am just coming up to another charity shop now the cancer research one i like this one they do some good stuff in here um so yeah just making sure it's open yeah sometimes i get it and it's shut and i'm like no but it's open it's all good let's check out the window display oh that cute doggy there in the middle that's nice right anyway let's go in Marilyn Monroe there. Right, always like looking at the dresses. Right, we're gonna put the trolley there. Right, okay. Ten quid. It's actually not in too bad a condition, these added us trainers, but ten quid's a bit steep. I love that belt going round on it, like like a stretchy belt. I actually really like this top of myself. That is gorgeous. I love that colour. I've got a little um, raffle here. Let's have a look. Pennies, help us raise funds for children. Okay, one pound for tickets. Yeah, I'll have a little raffle ticket if that's the right place. <laughs> Just got home. Wilma is here. She looks very relaxed and peaceful near her plant. Well, her plant was at the back, but she's kind of ripped it up. So some of the plants here at the front, some of it's at the back. Hello. <laughs> she realizes realizes I'm here now. Hello. How you doing, Wilma? You been a good girl while I've been out? She looks very relaxed. Right, I'll leave her to it because I feel like I'm irritating her. Oh, she's doing a poo, that's why. Sorry, Wilma. I'm sorry. You go and do your poo in peace. <laughs> Love you. Right, so I'm just having some breakfast and I'm going to watch The Only Way is Essex. I'm going to have a little read now. And uh, this is my current book. It's called This Wild Wild Country by Inga Vesper. I love this cover so much. I got it in Sainsbury's the other day. Um, went in for bread and butter and cheese and milk and ended up with a book. <laughs> you know how it is. Um, but I was just drawn to this cover. I'd not heard of it. I've not seen it anywhere. But I was like, wow, that cover just looks so good. About three women, an isolated town and a decades old mystery. It's really, really good. Um, I'm currently on page, let's have a look. 
108. So I don't think I'm halfway yet. No, I'm nearly halfway. But yeah, really enjoying it. And uh, it's a really good little thriller, actually. Um, so I'll just read the back to you. It says, 1933, Cornelia Stover is not the kind of woman the men of Boldville, New Mexico, expected to be. Then one day, she stumbles on a secret hidden out in the hills. Then we go to 1970. Decades later, Joanna Riley, a former cop, flees an abusive marriage and a life that she can no longer bear. Eventually, she runs out of gas, finds herself in the same place, Boldville. But something is off about this place. And before long, she and Glitter, a young, disaffected hippie, find themselves caught up in a dark mystery that leads them all the way back to the unexplained disappearance of Glitter's grandmother, Cornelia. 40 years ago so yeah that's her grandma but yeah it's really really good i love all the different characters and how all the stories like you know coming together nicely but you've got some in the past and some obviously in the 70s and it's it works it just works and it's just really really good so i'm really enjoying this thriller and um yeah i actually tweeted the author inga vesper on twitter with a picture of the book that she's done and said i'm really enjoying it and she retweeted me and said she was happy that I was liking her book and stuff. I get really excited when authors retweet me or, you know, tweet me or like my tweets or whatever. I'm a proper fangirl when it comes to authors. Anyway, right, I'm going to have a little read. Okay, so we've got some scratch cards here. Nathan's back from work. I am back. Good to see you. Back. And With I'm a vengeance. Ready to attack. <laughs> okay. Um, I can't remember if we've done these before. Um, Double I think match. We have. Hmm. So I've got five. But I don't know if I've done them on a video before. No. Double match, top prize, 5,000. Cool. I'd be happy with 5,000. Think of all that Lego. And tonight, talking about Lego is very exciting because it's... It's midnight tonight. Yeah. We're going to be on there. Lego website. There's things you want, things I want, and they come out tonight at 12. I'm going to get on there. You're not allowed to nap. You've got to stay awake. <laughs> Put like matchsticks in your eyes. I'm asleep now. That's it. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to scratch these and we'll let you know if we win or not. So, of all those, all we won is one. Just one. And it got two pounds. I don't really like doing that one. It was no, weird. I didn't like it particularly. Because you have to not only. I've got the two eights. So the number eight was my number and that's my number. But you can also match three. The, but it's three the same price. Like you know, prizes. Prizes. Very weird, wasn't it? Anyway, but at least we won two least pounds. Got two pounds. Better than a loser. Okay, so I'm just about to do some YouTube work. I've got some comments to reply to. I always make sure I reply to my comments like every day um, on both channels, which, you know, sometimes I don't get that many comments. So it doesn't take too long. And other days I get a lot of comments, so it takes quite a while. But it's all good. It's, it's nice. I like receiving comments. And I do always reply to people, apart from trolls. I don't reply to those. I used to, but now I don't. I just literally delete and block so there we go anyhow but yeah um do my comments i'm gonna um schedule a video for tonight i think on my other channel um it's quite funny because like with these vlog videos i spend so much time filming editing etc um and then i put a youtube short on before which is like i think like 40 seconds long if that and it had like 500 views in like an hour or so which is far more than i get on my like really long vlogs that I work really hard on. It is quite funny, but anyway, but um yes, I'm gonna do YouTube -y work and then I have a tarot card reading to do. Got my tarot cards here. Oh, oh no, that's not that's a scratch card, but still a card, not a tarot. <laughs> it doesn't tell your fortune. But yeah, I sold another tarot card reading, which is really cool. So um I'm gonna sit and do that. Uh, the girl paid this morning and I said, you know, I'll do it in the next couple of days, but I'm going to get it done today. So I know that it's done. By the way, if you are interested in receiving a tarot card reading, let me know. Uh, drop me an email, minxlaura123 at gmail.com um, or DM me if you're on any of my uh, social media pages. I sound really young when I say that and hip. DM me. Send me a message. Anyway, um, but yeah, I love doing tarot cards readings and I hope you will want to purchase one um i charge five pound um and that's for three cards and you get it via email or by dm whatever you prefer uh personalized reading you can ask questions or you can just have like a general reading it's completely up to you so yeah just get in touch if it's something that sounds interesting to you or if you want any um type of personalized video whether it's asmr channel video style or a vlog that you'd like me to do just you know get in touch message me and yeah, because I'm just trying to make some extra cash, really. So, you know, days out for me and Nathan and Lego, Lego bits and pieces, all that extra money just, you know, helps out. 
Okay, that's enough advertising now. <laughs> um, so yeah, YouTube work, a tarot card reading, and um, then I'm going to go down and steam. I think you can probably tell my sinuses have got really bad. Um, my face feels a bit weird and tingly, and it's gone, you can see under my glasses, it's gone a bit red on my cheeks, and it hurts around here. Um, and you can probably hear in my voice, my nose does sound really blocked up. So, um, yes, the pollen says it's medium today, but it feels more like, it feels more like high, um, for me anyway. But yeah, I'm going to go down in a bit and steam. I'll just get a bowl of hot water from the kettle and tea towel over the head. I'll show you, I'll film it, you can laugh at me. Um, and it just kind of clears the nose a bit. Um, and then I've got my little spray thing to use, my little uh, saline salt spray. But yeah, it's really bad. It's literally got bad in the last few hours. So whether it's just got really... And my eyes feel quite itchy as well. But um, anyway, yeah, so I'm going to go and do that. And then finally, I get to relax for a bit and do a bit of reading of my book, which I'm really super duper enjoying. So yeah, that is the plan. Right, we are going to watch some spooky stuff now. We found this new channel. Well, I say we found this new channel. It was actually recommended this new channel uh, by one of my viewers, Manuel. Hello, Manuel. Well done this week. Manuel did good. He did good. Uh, he recommended this paranormal channel called Bizarre Bub. And it's basically, yeah, uh, clips of paranormal caught on camera. And it's really good. We've been watching quite a few of them. Mm. It's quite an addictive channel mm. lots of spooky videos so we are gonna watch another one and get scared mm. <laughs> and i'll have nightmares again well ma i've just zoomed in on you i thought why do you look so huge it's there we go that's better <laughs> you're like right in my face um wilma is gonna have her dinner now are you hungry is that a silly question probably and she's got her tetra goldfish flake Mmm, oh yeah. Does that look good? Is that what you want for dinner? Okay. <laughs> right, a bit of a book update for you, so anyone who's interested in reading stuff in my vlogs. Um, <laughs> so I've had a bit of a change of heart with this one. I was really enjoying it, and as I'm reading, it's just getting boringer and boringer and boringer. I don't even know if that's the word, boringer. More and more boring. More and more boring. Is boring a word? Probably not. Probably not. No. Um, I, just, I don't know. It's just kind of wishy-washy. And I'm just like, oh, come on. Come on. And I don't really like the characters that much. Anyway, I've DNF'd it. So I'll stop reading it. I skipped to the end to see what happens. And it wasn't really that exciting either. But um, I still say that this is a gorgeous cover. I'm not going to go back on that. I think the cover is amazing. But um, I just, I don't know. I was just like, mm. I thought I'm not even halfway yet. And I'm just getting a bit bit me and i've got so many books to read i've got library books new books that i've bought old books that i've got like i just i can't be wasting time unless i'm giving it you know my all so that is going to go on ebay someone else will enjoy it. it's only just come out recently so someone will want it hopefully um and i'm going to try this one instead i thought that was a bit dull and depressing so i might as well go for something a bit fun this is a ya um fantasy i don't know what you could call it sci-fi fantasy i think i don't know I'm not sure by ft lukens and it's called spellbound i love the cover the cover's really really cool i've seen this author's books in um waterstones before there's ever after and in deeper waters i was quite interested actually in deeper waters it's like pirates and stuff so i'm gonna see how i get on with this one and then if i do like that in the future i might check out the other one but yeah this is a why fantasy magic and i'll just read this little bit because it says magical rivals deadly secrets an inconvenient crush what could possibly go wrong <laughs> um i think this book's supposed to be quite funny as well funny um subversive romantic fantasy there we go so i don't know looks quite fun and mystical magical What's this? Is this to gain access to the magical world? Problem is, he doesn't have magic. But he does have a plan. Oh, okay. So he gets the job as an apprentice to a powerful sorceress. Hmm. Okay. Well, it sounds fun, but we'll see. The good thing about getting library books is that if I don't like them, I just take them back and I haven't lost any cash on them. Um, so, yeah, wish me luck with my new book. Um, we are going to go downstairs soon and have some dinner. I don't know what I want for dinner. What do you want for dinner? 
today. I'm not, I'm not really eating that much today, actually. I don't know what I fancy. I don't know. I don't know. Just a I bit me. Don't. No. I don't know. I need to eat something, but I just don't know what. But yeah, we'll have dinner. We've got. Um, hold on. I turn this around because we're just looking at a book. Um, we've got our show on. The proof is out. There. The proof is out there, or as I always call it, the proof is out here, yeah. which is wrong. Um, yeah, it's back. Tony is back, and it's on the History Channel. Yes. I think on a Tuesday, Tuesday but at we've. 10. At 10 o'clock, yeah, in the evening. So we've got it on record. We should have watched last night, but we didn't. And so, yeah, we put it on to just, like, watch it tonight. So we're going to watch that. It's like an hour show, I think. It's an hour. So we're going to watch that. And then, yeah, we've got dinner. I've got Skinwalker Ranch. Um, no, oh. no, I haven't. I've got Curse no, it's of not tonight, is it? I've got Curse of Oak Island and I've got Curse of Dead Man's Gold. Got a lot of curses going There's on so for you. Cursing. There is a lot of cursing, yeah. yeah. Or when you're doing that... You're watching those. Yeah, I will read. probably read, yeah. When Nathan has TV on, I do find it hard to read. And he's very good and he does have a, like, let me have a bit of quiet, quiet time. time. But tonight is TV night for him, which is fine. So when he does that, I, I, try, I you can read when I'm talking, like, got music on or yeah, TV. I can just shut everything out. I cannot shut things out. My brain just, like, listens to things, even and if he doesn't want it. not interested in Yeah, I don't have to be, like, interested in it. I just, I don't know. I think the hardest thing for me to read with is music in the background because yeah. I just end up singing it in my head. But, um, yeah, when he does that, I'll just put my earphones on and I listen to, like, rain sounds on YouTube or I like the sound of trains, actually. That's my newest one. Trains. And I read. Yeah. And I just sit there and I'm like, I feel like I'm on a train. Sometimes I do that because I feel like I'm on the bloody train reading it. But, yeah, so um, nice bit of reading tonight and a bit of... Um, Proof is out there with... It's basically like mysteries and... I don't know. They kind of analyse clips. Clips of either UFOs. Paranormal. Paranormal. Weird. Cryptids. And they get all the experts in to... Yeah, that's the bit I like the best. Because you watch it and you think, oh, that's real. That's got to be real. And then they go, no, it's completely faked. It's either edited or... Sometimes it's not actually meant to be fake. It's just, just they find out right. why it yeah. is. Like, there could be something with a light or... Yeah. You know, but yeah, it's really good. I like that show and it's back. My dad likes that show as well. Um, but yeah, I'll see you in a bit. And um, I'll update you how I'm getting on my book. I need to... Um, I have steamed. I completely forgot to film myself doing it. Which I know you'll find amusing because I look a wreck when I steam. My whole face goes like wet and bright red. My hair sticks up. So I'll give you some amusement with that. Um, but I will be steaming again because you can hear it. It's really bad. It's like just bunged up. So I'm going to steam again, have some dinner and stuff. Um, and I'll just keep looking at all my books. I've, I've got too many books. And for you to say that means there is I've got issues. Do you think I've got issues? Yes. With books. Yes. <laughs> well, I've got lots of issues. But with, with regards. Yes. Yeah. Because you have got a lot of library books. I know. There's a whole bag of them in the hallway, which is not good. Don't look now. This is the book market. No! Books. Nathan's watching, um, I don't even know where this is. Japan, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, my God. That's amazing. I don't want to show it in case books, I get in yeah. trouble, but it's... Look at that. Yeah. That is so cool. The book market. An outdoor library, almost. It is. It's like, imagine yeah. a market outdoors, but all the stalls are pretty much books. Yeah. That is actually comics. really yeah. cool. We wouldn't be able to read any of them because they're probably in Japan. Oh, mind you, that's in English. Yeah. That's in English. That makes me laugh, though. Can you see when they wear their mar face masks, yeah. they have them under the nose. Under the nose. You're supposed to... What's the point? Yeah. God, there's so many stalls yeah. just filled with books. Oh, my days. I wish we had one like that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's that. Right, so... Um... See, that's why you've got a problem with books. Because <laughs> you'd see that, and uh, you'd be like, I need hundred. I don't know. Well, I get this thing. Where I think, oh, we'll the library of free cheap, cheap bookshop in Rayleigh. Yeah. Oh no. How much are we going to spend in there? They're two pound a book. Yeah, but that sounds cheap. But they all add up, and I'm just running out of places to put them. Like seriously. And I've got no room for you to use. No. Nah. No. Nah. But it is worth it. There's an old shop that we're going in Rayleigh. Mm. I can't think. There's a name. I think it's in the lanes. In the lanes. Yeah. And it's. Basically, old um, books, and magazines. books, magazine. My dad goes, and I think my dad yeah. told us about yeah. there. Because whenever my dad goes to Rayleigh, 
he goes in this place because he gets some books and magazines and stuff and he told us about it so we're gonna have a look see see if we, i'm looking forward to go to Riley next week actually it should be cool um go up on the train so i get to go on a little train i will be filming my train journey there which is gonna be really weird for me now because we're not gonna talk <laughs> 16 Take minutes oh yeah that's pretty cool that is cool it's like an old, old steam train, train yeah. thing um yeah i'm gonna be filming the, the train trip because people like videos mm. of people on trains and I did a short a little while ago and they, they done quite well of me on a train and I was like, oh, I'll do that again. But yeah, so we've said that <laughs> we're not going to talk for 16 minutes on the way there so I can film. Because if I, I was going to just mute it so we could still talk and then put music over it, but then people like train sounds. Yeah, the sounds of the train and the tannoy and stuff like that. So I was like, right, so we're just going to do that. But yeah, going to Rayleigh next week, there's loads of shops there. I think you're going to dread saying you're going with me because there's a lot of shops. There's a lot of shops. There's charity shops and clothes shops. There's bookshop. Oh, it's going to be good. Massive Marks and Spencer there as well, which is good. But yeah, we're going to go there next week. That's our little little day out. I don't think there's a toy shop there, though. There's not because just outside of the town is a massive Smith's Toys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they probably don't need more than one. There's a massive windmill, which isn't exciting as Lego, but it is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Might be Lego um, the oh, well, there's too. another thing I wanted to see. That Dutch, Dutch house. Cottage. Where is that? That's is that near the, the near the station? Yeah, I want to see, see that. that. And I have Dutch heritage as well. So there we go. Yeah, so Rayleigh like next Dutch week. <laughs> yeah, we haven't got Dutch heritage. No. I had some more good. relatives come through on that DNA website, yeah. 23 and me. Yeah, more Goldbergs and are Goldsteins. They, and they old? Yeah, well, there was one woman who it sounded like her name was going to be like a younger name, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, but then when I looked, she was, yeah, about my mum's age. Because most of your relatives yeah. sadly are your mum's age. I don't know why. I know it sounds awful, but when I started the 23 and Me, I really wanted to communicate with, like, I don't know, like get a load of young yeah. cousins or something, because I've not got any really that I talk to. And, and all I'm getting is either people who are just far away or just really, like, old. old yeah. Nobody can meet up. Uh, no, I just thought I'd find this like, really cool cousin and yeah. be like, oh my God, we're related. Let's meet up, go shopping. Nah. 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 <laughs> What's he doing? He's just standing in the middle of the road on a crossing. That's really creepy. Yeah. But he's just standing in the middle of a road. It's not, it's a path road. Is it it's not the road. same as a crossing? It, well, it's a road during the day, like daytime, but at night it's just yeah. a path because that's where the bookstores were. Ah, oh, right, okay. Anyway, right, I'm rambling, so see you in a bit. <laughs> okay, so time is caught tonight. Just had some dinner. It's a bit boring, really. Just had some mash and a couple of little mini sausages. <laughs> Most boringest dinner ever. But, you know, good deal. And we're now going to watch The Proof is Out There. Um, I think on a trailer, it says a broomstick. Which is broomstick floating midair? What is it? Did dinosaurs walk with humans at the same time? And a strange sound over Slovakia. Yeah. Where's Slovakia? Near Russia? Yes, yeah, in... Kind of Baltic. Baltic, Baltic yeah, that was clever. Baltic. I knew it was the Baltic area. I'm quite proud of myself. <laughs> Look, Mum's got no friends. You can't stop cuddling him. Even before, she said, can you bring him over? It's baby Yoda. She did. When I come yeah. down for it, she goes, oh, can I have that Yoda thing? <laughs> and she just sat and cuddled him. Should I like him? <laughs> You've got no friend. Anyway, right. Let's watch this. Okay, so the time is now nearly 10 o'clock. Um, I've just steamed and my hair's gone a bit funny because of that. And my face is a little bit red. Actually, it's not as red as it was a minute ago. Um, but yeah, I've also got on a bit of tissue, some oversoil. Ah, so I'm trying to clear my sinuses. Um, but yeah, I am going to... Read. We watched the proof is out there. It was all right. It was a little bit boring. Nathan enjoyed it more than me, I think. <laughs> but um, no, some of it was all right. I did like the witch's broom hanging. Clearly, was not a real witch's broom, or was it? Um, there's a bit of paranormal on there as well, which was good. Yeah, it was all right. It was all right. Um, 
but yeah, we're going to watch another show. Well, I'm going to sort of watch another show whilst reading at the same time. But um, I feel very tired. And without going into too much detail, I've got my girly things. So it makes me feel a bit bleh. <laughs> a bit bleh. Um, But yeah, I've got some water. Nathan got me a bottle of water from the fridge. So he's looking after me. He's a very good boy. Well, good man, not good boy. But yeah, he got me some water. I've had painkillers as well, so just gonna rest up. I've got my blankie. Got my blankie. So I'm just gonna literally sit here and relax the rest of the evening. Um so we I think Nathan said we're doing the Iceland food order tonight, but whether he will or not, I don't know. We might do it tomorrow. 12 o'clock, though, is the important where we get what we want on the Lego website. So wish us luck. Um, I know what Nathan's after as it goes to 12 o'clock. And I know what I'm after. The Friends Community Centre. And you want the Lego man, the little minifigure inside. So wish us luck. Anyway, I'm going to head off. So thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget, click like, comment, share, subscribe, check out Mixlaw123, ASMR, my other channel, links down below. Have a throne wish list if you get to spoil me or treat me and... Treat me. Treat Nathan. You've got Lego um, bits on there. Please. <laughs> oh, bless you. He's begging. Begging like a dog. I'll beg like a dog if I get stuff. <laughs> puppy, eyes. puppy eyes, yeah. But yeah, throne wish... I can't even say it now. Throne wish list is down below the link. Um, and that's it, I think. Good reads if you're a bookworm. Come follow me on there. Sorry this video has been really a bit boring. I do sell tarot cards. Email me, minxlaw123 oh, at gmail. Yeah, tarot card readings. <laughs> I'm tired. Email me, minxlaw123 at gmail.com or DM me on my socials. Um, I like saying that, my socials. Is that sad? Oh, my socials. Oh, my social, hit me up. Like, so don't hit me up, literally. So cool. I'm not cool. I'm, I'm like the uncoolest person ever, to be fair. I mean, look at this hair sticking up like a weirdo. Um, <laughs> my breathing feels so tight. I'm going to go and have my asthma pump in a minute as well. It might be really cheeky and get Nathan to bring it in because he's in the kitchen. <sighs> a bit wheezy. I don't know what the pollen's going to be like tomorrow. Mmm. But anyway, listen, thank you for watching. And as I say, yeah, sorry it's been a bit of a boring and dull video, but it is what it is. Everyone's like, yeah, good night. Bye.